Welcome to the full training of Windows 10 series. This is Zia Maliki from Information Technology. You are watching the second part of the full training of Windows 10 series. Let's get started. Launching applications that we can see, such as Word or perhaps the Calendar app, is as simple as clicking with your mouse on that icon. If you don't see the application that you would like to launch, you can do one of two things. You can either search for it down here on the lower corner of the screen. Simply type in what you are looking for or you can scroll down to all apps to get an alphabetic list of all your applications. Let's go and try both. I'm going to activate my start menu and then write in the box that says type here to search. I'm gonna type in Excel. When I type in Excel you will notice that the Microsoft Excel application is shown up on the top of the list. Now all I have to do is to click on it and launch Microsoft Excel. Or I can use the second method which is clicking on the All Apps on the bottom of the menu. By scrolling down, it will give me a nice alphabetic list of all applications I have installed on my system. Scrolling to the correct application is just looking at them alphabetically. When I find what I am looking for, I will simply click on it and launch that application. You probably noticed that the start menu support a whole bunch of new icons which are on the right hand side. The live at a glance grouping and the play and explore grouping. Now these are the default grouping for our start menu. What I'm going to tell you is that the start menu is very customizable. My goal now is to build a productivity group on these tiles, making it easier for myself to get to my favorite programs. Let me show you what I mean. I am going to my start menu and find a program that I use all the time. Let's go down here where it says type here to search and I'm going to type in Excel. Now Excel is very popular Microsoft program which shows up as the very first option that Microsoft Windows 10 found for me. I'm going to right click with my mouse using the right mouse button and then choose Pen to start. Watch what happens. Now when I go back to my start menu, you will notice that Microsoft Excel has been pinned as a tile on my start menu down at the bottom. I would like to move it to the top, so it's much more convenient for me to access. So by clicking on the start menu, scrolling down to the bottom of my tiles, I can left click and drag the Excel tile up to the top icons. I can move it here if I like, but as I said, I would like to build a productivity group along with the two grouping already made by Microsoft Windows 10 for me. So let me start by grabbing Excel with my left mouse button and dragging it to the top and you will notice that when I get to the top there is a blue bar. 
This starts a new grouping of tiles. And of course, we can also name this grouping. Click on the name New Group and name it as Important Software or whatever I like to call it. While I have added the group, I can also add the word application in it. I don't even have to search for it because it's right there as I recently use it. Let's go and grab the word now and drag it over to the important software grouping. Finally, I would love to add Microsoft PowerPoint to this group. I don't see it on the list. I would like to go to Cortana. And in the field that says type here to search, down at the bottom, I will search PowerPoint. Of course, it's the first thing that shows up on the top of the screen. So I will right click on it and once again you will see print to start. And if you remember where it's going to go, yes, to the bottom of the start menu. So I will grab it and drag it to the top and drop it to my important software group. If I like to rearrange the icons, I can do that anytime. Click and drag and drop and we have made a start menu of our liking. So I'm going to encourage all of you to pause this video and go and give it a try. Let me recap what I just shared with you. We learned how to use the start menu to find whatever we want by clicking on the lower left corner. We also learned that by using the start menu, we can move our tiles around by simply grabbing and dragging and dropping them. Finally, we learned that if we grab a tile, we can drag it to the top and create a new grouping. And then we can place whatever program we want there. To get a program on the start menu to begin with, we can choose right click and choose pen to start. Give it a try guys. Join me back in the next tutorial and we will continue on with our learning of Microsoft Windows 10. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe for more videos.